Midjourney is still the best AI art creator, but there are other tools that are free and are coming close. My most watched video is about AI art creators that are not Midjourney and that are free. I found a couple more of those, so you can start creating with other AI tools. The first and probably the best competitor of Midjourney is called Lexica. And I already shared Lexica before to use as a database, but you can also create images with it. The site is just lexica.art. And when we're on the homepage, you right away see what kind of cool things it can do. The biggest thing is that it's a search engine. So if you want to search for a certain image, for instance, New York and search, I will see all different images that are created with the tag New York. And if I click on it, you have the prompt that it uses. You can explore this style. So you really get a lot of information to make your own images. And as you can see, you can really go through it. Here we have Kanye West. This is nice with the water in between. This is a totally different style. So on the homepage, you can really get so much inspiration that you can use for your own images. It just doesn't end the different kind of styles that you can do. You can see in these images, it's really getting close to mid journey. It's really a competitor because it looks amazing. And some other AI art generators are just not so good. And this just looks super cool. So I'm not going to pick one from here, but in the top, you can go to generate. It's super easy. It's in the browser and you just have some advanced settings. If you want more or less contrast, if you, which size you want here, you just give your prompt. I'm going to use a cyberpunk cat in dark alley and negative prompt. You can describe things to exclude, but for now that's okay. It's quite quick and it's so easy to use. You don't have to download discord like for mid journey. And here we got already the results. They're looking quite good actually. I like the lights that are on the cat here. This one is standing. <laughs> it's pretty funny. And you can do a couple things. You can generate variations. So if I like this one, I can generate variations and then we get four new ones that are kind of similar. So now here I have four new ones that are kind of similar as the one that I just chose. We can press this one and you can upscale the image by adding more fine details. Now here we have the upscaled image and it's looking pretty cool actually. What you can also press is outpaint. And when I did that, you see that you get, it already tells here, you generate a wider version of the image via outpainting. So now here I had the close up and now here I have a zoomed out image of the one I just created. And that's actually a really cool feature. If you create a certain image and it's just a bit, a bit too small, you can use this one and you get more of the environment. That's actually a really cool feature that I would hope mid journey also adds. And then lastly, you can just search Lexica for similar images. If I search here, I come to a page that all has kind of similar images. So like this, you really can see the different things that are possible. And it's just a really cool tool. And I like the style that Lexica uses. Mid journey might be one step ahead, but this is coming so close. But especially when you go to home and just see all the cool things that you are able to do. This looks super realistic. So on the top, you have to generate. You have the history, the images that you created. You have likes, so you can like all your images. So you really can keep in one page all the images that you liked from everyone. So that's really nice. And in the end, we have account and they have some plans. For $10 a month, you get a thousand generations. And in the bottom here, we see how does the plan limit work? So you're on a free plan and have generated 33 of 100 images this month. So unfortunately, it is only free for 100 images per month but you can create some really cool things. I would really advise you to try out Lexica, especially because it's just on the browser and so easy to use. The next AI art generator that I wanted to show is PicFinder. And PicFinder is a bit less higher quality than Lexica, but it's totally free and it's super fast. So once you're on the site, you just have one box in the middle. And I'm again gonna make a cyberpunk cat in dark alley. Just gonna press enter. I used this prompt before, and I guess that's why it saved already a couple of images ready like that. So here you see that the style is different than Lexica, but you can still get some nice images in a more artsy style. But for instance, this one is really nice. You have a couple options. You can give a heart. You can say that you don't like it and you can download it. But when I download it, you see the quality is quite low. And that's why I have another tool that can upscale your AI images to really big, to a 3000 by 3000 pixels. And it doesn't lose any of the quality. I will show that later in the video. I'm gonna try another prompt because this one it already knew. So let me try something else. So I'm gonna go for a bathtub filled with rubber ducks. And you see that now it didn't have all the images ready, but still it's very fast how it's creating it. 
and we get a lot of different styles. It goes forever for free and that's the nice thing about this one. You don't have to worry about running out of credits to create images. In the top right, you also have some settings. You can make it square, tall or wide. And I think this is a really cool tool, especially because it's free, it's fast and it's on browser, so that's nice. The next tool I wanted to show is on the Neural Love website. Neural Love has a couple of things. You can create an AI avatar. This costs $10, but you can also go to the AI art generator and this is all for free. You can use the HD mode and then it will cost some credits. But if you just use the normal model, vertical two images, it's all free. So why not try it out? So if you scroll down, you see that it has a lot of different styles. And once I click on it, you see you get the prompt and also here they have a uncrop, so outpaint the rest of the image and you can enhance it to resize and add details. But let's just try out the cyberpunk cat in dark alley. And one of the cool things from this tool is that it can give you some styles. We go for fantasy, painting, anime, and they have the mid journey style. So if you really like that one, you can go for that. So it adds a mid journey style to your image or can go for no category and then you really have to add your own style. But I'm gonna try the mid-journey style because we are looking for a mid-journey replacement. Cyberpunk Cat in Dark Alley, generate for free. So I already used it one time before and it didn't give me the best images, but I didn't use the mid-journey prompt. So let's see how the other one looks. And here we have the Cyberpunk Cat in Dark Alley, mid-journey style, two vertical images. And it's giving it some art style. I really, I actually really like this style. It's may, maybe more of Mid Journey version three. So the previous version of Mid Journey, it looks like a bit like that style. And I'm gonna try to outpaint the rest of the image. So this is really a function that I wish Mid Journey had already. And you see that the outpainting also costs credits and you start with five. So I'm just gonna try it out with this image. Okay, you do have to pay if you want to use certain extras, but generating of the image is just totally free. It just added some more on the top and the bottom. It made it like a painting. So it was before and after. And I think it's nice, it's just a bit bigger. It didn't outpaint it as much as with Lexica, but it's still good. And here you can also enhance it. If you want to upscale the image, it also costs the credits, but I have a free tool that really does it amazing. The link to the tool is in the description and it's the upscaler from replicate.com and it's super easy to do. You just have to drop a file or click to select. I will just add the image that I created in the beginning. This one was quite small and here you can do the scale. So if you put the scale on three, you already get the image from 3000 by 3000. So most of the time that's more than enough, but you can go crazy and go to 10. I normally put it on three and that's more than enough. You can do face enhance if you have an image that has a face, so it makes it better. And then you just press submit. And it's fast, it's free, it's easy to use. This really is a nice tool. And by using this tool, you don't have to use your credits in other free AI tools. And here we go. It's just upgraded like that. And it's exactly the same image. This face was already looking a bit wonky, but you see it's exactly the same, but just really with the higher detail. So it's super nice to use and it's free. That was it for this video. I have two more videos that show mid journey alternatives for free. You can find the link in the description and let me know in the comments which tool you can't wait to try out. See you next time. If you like this video, there are plenty more AI related content available on my channel. So be sure to check out the rest of my videos here on the right and hit the subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on all things AI.